Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 279. That is, what is the approach to be followed by the testing team when the build is arrived late and is not tested completely in the sprint? Okay, so what the testing team has to do when the build they have to test has arrived late or given late for them in the sprint and because of that reason if they are unable to complete testing in that current sprint then what the testing team has to do okay if you face this kind of situation what the testing team has to do so let me answer it guys okay so first of all this is not the problem of the testing team because the build has to be provided for testing or te to the testing team on time if it is not provided to the testing team on time Due to many reasons, okay, it may be of because of many reasons because developers may delay it or uh, there may be some confusions in the requirements and because of that it got delayed, whatever the reason may be, okay. But still, if the build has come for testing, if the stories that are assigned in that particular sprint have to come for testing very late in the sprint and the testing team ha doesn't have much time, then what the testing team has to do is a question. So, simple thing that will happen here is since there is not enough time, okay, since there is not enough time to complete the testing, the stories will spill into the next sprint, okay? The story will spill into the, whatever the stories are there, they will get spilled into the next sprint, okay? Because they cannot be completed in the current sprint. That is the first thing, okay? And when the build is getting delayed due to any reasons, because developers may be slow or, okay, requirements are confusing or whatever it may be, the testers, can sense it right they can in a, they can understand that the build that has to come by this time has not come for our testing so they can raise a risk flag in the daily stand up meeting where scrum master will be there and they can they can raise the red flag there saying that the build is not given for testing if uh, the build doesn't come by this time then we will not be able to complete testing in this current sprint okay and we have we need to spill it into the next sprint okay like that we have to make the things straight in the daily stand up meeting and discuss with the scrum meeting and uh, uh, and go with the other other meetings so where uh, actions can be taken place and a con contingency plan should be ready or uh, sh should be made ready in place in case of delay in the development okay if in case the build is getting delayed because of there is a delay in the development then a, con a contingency plan need to be created by the testing team and should be made ready and and uh, Need to be discussed in the daily stand up meeting by raising the red flag saying that we cannot complete the testing in this sprint okay so we don't have enough time to complete the testing so testing team with the above contingency plan uh, should state that stories need to be spilled okay stories need to be spilled spelling mistake is there spilled into the next sprint and the build cannot be cannot go to production without proper testing in the current sprint okay we need to spill the stories into the next sprint then only we'll get the time for testing like that we have to make things straight okay instead of uh, taking the burden of uh, testing in less time we have to make the things straight and uh, uh, make sure that you test the uh, stories assigned to the sprint properly without uh, okay compromising with the time okay so hope guys you got the answer for this question in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye